used to call me on my cell phone. Drake has been a staple on the music scene for many years. He's had his share of controversies, but a lot more successes. He's smashed records and made headlines. Being within the business for as long as he has, that's meant that almost every aspect in his life has been reported on and dissented in the media. But there's still some facts that are lesser known or completely ignored. Let's see some intriguing things about Drake that everybody seems to forget. If you want to see more of our videos, please remember to subscribe subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications bell so that you never miss a thing. And if you enjoy this video, remember to give us a thumbs up. First thing is that Drake is his middle name. His real name is Aubrey Drake Graham. So I gotta say, I get why he goes by Drake. Aubrey just doesn't scream rapper to me, more like a doctor or dentist. He was born on the 24th of October, 1986 and is 34 years old, but he has a bit of an interesting heritage. His father is African American and Catholic and his mother is white, Canadian, and Jewish. This didn't exactly make him fit in when he was in high school. His school was almost completely white. He considers himself black and Jewish, so he was very different from other kids in the school, but he always stated that it was something that made him stronger. He was raised by his mother and grew up Jewish. He even had a bar mitzvah. He seems to have the American dream, but he is an American. Believe it or not, he was actually born in Toronto, Canada, and is very proud of his heritage. He has loads of music videos and song lyrics that talk about his hometown, and he's dedicated to Toronto. He's even got a tattoo of the CN landmark on his right arm. It's helped build tourism to the city, and it's been estimated that they make as much as 5% of the city's income from just tourism alone because of Drake. He really did start from the bottom, as his 2013 song says. He wrote about the song to show that the world that he had to fight for is success. It wasn't easy getting to where he was. He had to work really, really hard. When he was very young, only five years old, his parents got divorced and he moved with his mom. At that stage in his life, his dad was in a lot of legal trouble, so it was really only his mom that he was able to rely on, but she was very sick. She had the autoimmune illness rheumatoid arthritis, and this caused her a lot of pain, which made it completely impossible for her to work. Sandy, his mother, has admitted that they were very poor then. Her brother helped them, and besides that, they only had disability checks to live on. So if he ever wanted to be successful, I think he knew that he would have to do it for himself, and that's exactly exactly what he did. He didn't start out as a rapper. It would be easy to think that a talented musician started out his career by doing, well, music. But that's not exactly the path that Drake took. First of all, he was actually an actor. His career started when a school friend introduced him to his father, who was an acting agent, who then found Drake his first role. The series was called Degrassi The Next Generation. Like I already said, when he was young, they were very poor, and this was a chance to get into some money and to be able to take care of his mom. So when his shooting schedule started to clash with his school schedule, he was facing a choice. He couldn't do both. He had chose to kept acting and dropped out of school at the time. He stayed on the show from 2001 to 2009 and even had won a Young Artist Award during the show for Best Ensemble in a TV Series. He did eventually graduate later in 2012, so I guess in the end, he did get both. He has music in his blood. It was just natural that he would end up going into the music direction. His dad, Dennis Graham, was a drummer who had enough talent to work for greats like Jerry Lee Lewis and his uncle, Larry Graham, was a bass player who played for Prince. So he definitely grew up with music in his blood and a love of music. But after his career started off with acting, he became inspired by some great musicians like Jay-Z. Drake decided to release his own mixtape in 2006. Although it did have a limited amount of sales, it did put him on the path. He's a great singer, rapper, and writer, so it's just a matter of time before he was to become famous. And he really did. Soon, he was one of the most famous musicians in the world. He is super ambitious. He not only took the music industry by storm, but he also set himself goals to meet, specifically a financial goal that he would like to be rich. When he started out, he had decided that he wanted to make $25 million by 25 years old, and he would make that happen through hard work and commitment. Then, he decided to set a new financial goal after he reached that one. He wanted to make $250 million by the time he was 29. Sadly, he didn't reach that one, but don't feel bad for him. In 2020, he had an estimated a net worth of around $150 million, which is enough to reach the number five spot on the Forbes list of richest rappers. So I don't think he's doing too badly when it comes to money, but this doesn't mean that he hasn't had his share of controversies. He has
as a kid that he hid. Through the years, there have been many different rumors about Drizzy, so when rumors had started to fly about him having a kid, many people just had assumed it was another silly story. Fellow musician Pusha T exposed the truth, and this ended up forcing Drake to admit to having a child in 2018. It came as a shock to a lot of fans. Many people were very disappointed in him for hiding his son, Adonis, and for denying his existence. There were people who said that he valued his image more than he did his son, but he had denied this, claiming that he was only trying to protect his son from the world and allow him his privacy. Nowadays, Adonis is featured on his social media regularly, along with Adonis's mother, Sophie Broussel, who is a French artist. It seems like they're making co-parenting work. Hopefully, they can keep up the good relationship to make sure that their child has a good childhood. He also has some pretty public feuds. It was widely publicized that he had a fight with Chris Brown in 2012 that got so bad that Brown landed in the hospital with a gash on his chin. But what did they fight about? Rihanna, of course. They later made up publicly and have been making music together since. But that was not the only time that he ended up getting into arguments and feuds with other artists. He had another altercation in 2014, but this time with P. Diddy. He's said to have been involved directly with Tyga getting removed from Young Money Entertainment, but it didn't end there. He has feuds with loads of other artists, from Jay-Z to Kendrick Lamar and Kanye West. With some of these artists he's even been able to hang out with, with others, the feuds continue. He is multi-talented. We've already spoken a little bit about his musical abilities. He is a great rapper and even singer. But did you know that he also wrote a lot of songs for some of the best singers around, and many of them were number ones? He's written with Jamie Foxx and has written Unthinkable for Alicia Keys. We already spoke a lot about his starting in acting, but he's also since done work in other movies and TV projects. He has a voice part in one of the Ice Age movies, and he's also produced a Netflix show. Also, he's even got his own record label. But show business isn't the only place that he has invested money in. He also has his own whiskey brand, so if you really want a taste of his lifestyle, you can drink his creation. Virginia Black has become a global success since its start in 2016. His influences are interesting. He has said that some of the biggest influences were Jay-Z and Lil Wayne, but whom he credits all the big influence in his music might be a bit of a surprise. He has stated that it was Alaya that had the greatest influence on his career, and he proved his love for the late singer when he had a massive tattoo of her inked on his back. She sits next to his mom, grandmother, and uncle. He was featured in one of her songs, and on the ninth anniversary of her death, he wrote her a truly moving letter about what she meant to him. Drake is a massive star and has stayed in the news for a really long time, so love him or hate him, he's not going to be going anywhere for a long, long time. People are invested. They want to know what he's doing, who he's dating, fighting, and with what new music he's creating. He's dated a lot of famous and beautiful women, and people are always wondering who will be next and who we will end up with. He's come so far from the young boy who lived in a basement room in Toronto. He's now one of the best-selling artists of all time with the most Grammy Awards. There's even been sushi that's made to look like him. So even if you know a lot about him already, there still may be some interesting facts that you might have missed. And with somebody who is as busy as Drake with so many things out there, there's always something new to know anyway. We hope that you enjoyed this video and come back for the next one. Thanks for watching.